Back in the 1990s, MG produced some excellent sports cars, namely the ZR, based on the Rover 25, the F and the TF, the first models designed as an MG since the MGB, and once the company was in the hands of Nanjing Motor Company, the limited edition LE500. Meet Andy Borden and his trio of classic MGs. Hello Andy, welcome to Doubt the Barns. Now you're a collector of MGs, why? Just because I was really sad to see the British brand disappear. So yeah. I've just hung on to them. Yeah. A bit of nostalgia. It is. And you start off with this one, which is the ZR. Yeah. Um, what is it you like about this one? Well, yellow's my favourite colour, so that okay. drew me to it instantly. And then when it had all the matching interior, it was originally purchased for my son when he was 17. Yeah, because this was known as a hot hatch, wasn't it, back in the day? It was very popular with the kids, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it was popular with the kids because it was a quite good on the insurance side of things, wasn't it, for a sports this car? This particular version yeah. of 1.4 was, yeah. yeah. They, yeah. Could, they could just about afford the insurance, yeah. <laughs> and it's got all this lovely colour coding. We've got everything. We've got the dials, we've got the door pads in yellow, the, the carpets, the you know, it's great. And did it come like this? It did come like it, but it was originally specified by the original owner to have it. it right. Was, they were factory options. Okay, so it all been options originally. And I notice you've got these rather fetching little um, hats which go over the gear sticks. You've got one for each car. I have. Just someone in the MG group just uh, <laughs> makes them up. <laughs> That's a really good idea, isn't it? It's supposed to be for, for, for the winter, they say, like gear stick warmers. But I find they're better with these alloy knobs in the summer because these get red hot if you leave them open. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice drive. I was driving it early. It's a really nice drive. I just think it's, they're amazingly underrated cars generally, the Rovers. Anyway, I know this is the ZR, so it's the yeah, 25 on steroids, but the, the suspension, everything, and it really tucks into the corners, handles really well. Yeah. So this was the second model you bought. So this is the TF LE500, and as the name suggests, it's a limited edition, isn't it? Yeah, just 500 made, as it suggests. Yeah, right. Now, what is this one what's the number on this 425 and where would we find the evidence of that it's a badge just between our two seats right the there yes yeah. okay brilliant and it had lots of little extras on it that the tf didn't have uh so you had the leather seats the 16 inch alloy wheels uh, bits and pieces like that what, what else have you got it's got a unique grill to this model range um bluetooth aircon reversing sensors yeah and uh hard top as well uh, which came with it as standard now did this one sell well it didn't sell as well as they hoped i mean they and that's why i think they did them as limited editions because they did 500 of this and then they did the 85th and like they kind of felt that keep launching a new limited edition would keep the momentum going which, which it did to some extent but again i don't think they originally got the sales they wanted like they are nowadays you know they're, yeah they're banging them out yeah <laughs> what's it like as a drive yeah it's it, it it's quick it's like a go-kart you know it's um it's it's very very light it's 1.8 engine um yeah you do feel like well, as long as when speed limits allow you're on a racetrack you know yeah it's, yeah uh, yeah it's really good fun and they are supposed to be fun cars which is so andy this is the third and final of your mg collection um this is the f and it's got a bit of a sad tale to it hasn't it it, um, it belonged to my uh, friend and work colleague of 25 years and unfortunately he became ill with cancer and um, sort of three weeks roughly before he passed he called me up and, and asked me to come and get the car and he'd like me to, to have it and be its custodian. It, um, he'd had some really sort of lovely cars in the past but he said that this was his favourite strangely but yeah. Um, so yeah it was it was knocked me back a bit but yeah it was, yeah, it was lovely really. And what's nice about this model? Well, being an F, um, it was um, produced before MG Rover um, started what they call Project Drive, which sounds like they should be uprating everything, but actually yeah. it was a drive to drive cost down. Right. So generally the Fs feel a better quality vehicle. Okay. Um, they, they drive so much smoother, they've got a hydroelastic suspension, so it floats along. Uh, this one's um, automatic, um, which they, they call a steppy. Um, I love the I love the wood trim. I've always loved a bit of wood in my old Jags and everything. Yeah, yeah. Even, it does even, look good. even though it might be plastic wood, I'm not sure, but it just looks the part. It does look nice. Yeah, you know. it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, you've got glass headlights in this, whereas all the TFs are plastic. And that, mm. you know. it, um, 
the, the electronics as well, they, they, they all got uh, changed uh, with the TF model. So mm. These tend to be more reliable. The metallic green and the cream and that just works really well. I get loads of comments at car shows now about yeah. how lovely it looks. Yeah, so this is your favourite of the three? Oh, oh it's difficult. It's difficult. That is difficult. Um, Can I put you on the spot? you got to name one. I think I'd have to go with the... Uh, the, the ZR. The ZR. Wow. I think, yeah, because yellow's my favourite colour and I'm quite loud and it all works. <laughs> <laughs> So here I am in Andy's ZR and I feel a bit like a boy racer getting out on the road, which is great. The colour coding is nice though because it, it does, it feels sporty, the seats are nice and it holds the road really well. And I kind of can see why Andy says this is his favourite. Um, yeah, it does have a really nice little feel about it. So. Which MG would you choose? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for this week down at the barns and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. <laughs>